Good afternoon. This is Paul Tommy with 3MAX Executive Group. Happy fall, you all. And uh, today, um, I'd like to talk to you about a vendor that I've used in the last couple of years that I've grown to be fond of, his product and his, his team. Uh, first, a shout out goes to Heather Wild, who's my assistant and daughter. She came up with this marketing idea about uh, thanking our dependable vendors, professional vendors that we know, use and trust on a regular basis. And November being Thanksgiving, we're calling it Gratitude Month. So during uh, November, we're going to feature several other companies. Uh, we did one last week, Made Safe, with Sasha Pagano. And today is the Brothers That Just Do Gutters. Uh, it's a local franchise with Luke Smith. And uh, they're part of my powerhouse team. So today's oh, focus yeah. is Luke Smith. Welcome, Luke. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, I'm excited about interviewing you and learn more about your company and your past. First of all, Luke, I want to ask you an icebreaker question. Yeah. And uh, it's basically something that nobody else knows about you. You don't mind the whole world knowing about you. Okay. <laughs> I got it. Go ahead. <laughs> That's it. What would you like somebody to know that they don't know about you? Something that. Oh, oh, wow. That was the question. Um, let's see. I've been very fortunate to have traveled to some pretty awesome places over the course of my life, just doing, uh, doing various missionary work and, one thing that was pretty cool, most people might think was strange or interesting. Uh, I've been swimming with elephants before, and that was pretty, uh, pretty fantastic and scary. And uh, they're quite nimble in the water, actually. They're very good swimmers. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. Yep. I won't ask you which kind of stroke they used. <laughs> <laughs> the trunk, the trunk stroke. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I understand you started your business, what, about a year, year and a half ago? Yeah, we started in um, June of 2019. So, so what have the challenges been and the opportunities, especially during this pandemic, been like? Uh, the challenges have been, at least in the pandemic, was trying to figure out, in the beginning, no one really knew what was happening or going on properly. And there was so much information. And um, um, all of our installers are pretty young. And uh, some of them were were worried about getting their parents or their grandparents sick. And so we were trying to troubleshoot that since we're construction, we're considered an essential business. We didn't have to shut down, but in April, um, <clears throat> I just felt like it was best for our company and our guys um, to stop production in April for about a month. And, um, you know, we were able to, to keep doing estimates and to make sure that they kept um, getting taken care of. But um, that was just really I mean, everyone struggled. Everyone wasn't sure what to do, but uh, especially in your, you know, first calendar year of business for that to start in the beginning of it was uh, pretty, was pretty rough, but we came through it, you know, praise God. And I feel like we're all better, you know, because of it. So. Yeah. Some, some businesses have thrived and others have uh, struggled and some have even closed, of course, which is unfortunate, yeah. but when times are tough, you got to get real resourceful. And that's yeah. one reason we're using this mode of uh, communication today. Tell, tell the viewers a little bit about the scope of the services, the type of services that you provide. Yeah. So as it says in our name, pretty, pretty, pretty well, we just do gutters. We, um, we do, um, we do seamless gutter installation service and repair. Uh, we love doing a bunch of different colors and materials. We do copper and galvalume as well. Um, we make the seamless gutters on site. We have three different installation uh, box trucks and one's a high top van. So, you know, the guys pull up and we take measurements wherever the gutters are going and uh, we make the gutters on site cut to fit exactly uh, your house. And, um, you know, we love being able to offer different things like maybe not three by four downspouts, uh, maybe some smooth round downspouts. Here's some some of our copper jobs as we were doing the installation uh, for those. So, um, yeah, we just really love we're one of the few in the area or the only in the area that I know in the southeast that actually solders the copper. Uh, a lot of guys do silicone, which over time, the water as it comes through uh, the copper um, becomes somewhat acidic and it breaks that silicone down after a while. But soldering it is just a really awesome way to ensure that it is going to be 100 um, percent bonded together, and free from any type of leaks when it comes to the copper. Silicone works great with aluminum because it doesn't corrode. Um, like it does when the water comes through the copper, but yeah. I got you. I got you. Well, what about, uh, what do you do to obtain good quality team members? And do you have any kind of internal programs to help them with self-development, that kind of thing? 
Yeah, one thing that was done really well in the franchise model that we liked for this uh, for this platform was uh, the guys are on a skills ladder program. So sometimes when you know you get hired in a blue collar industry work like this, the boss will slap you on the back. They're like, "Hey, you know, we're excited to have you with us. We'll talk about a raise in five months." That guy doesn't really know exactly what he has to do to get a raise, apart from uh, you know show up on time, maybe work really hard, um, you know, just don't ask questions, like always be doing something like there's never really a clear path. But with our skills ladder program, they start out as an apprentice and it goes up from there. And every rung of the ladder has a manual. And in the manual, uh, it's almost like a contractual agreement. That's how we treat it. When they reach, when they go through the manual, four different times in each manual, they get a bump up and pay. So it's easy for them to see where they're going to get to uh, and, you know, as opposed to where they start. So there's a clear path. And in, in, and in each manual, there are books that they have to read. Uh, you know, they're pretty short books. They're self-help books. They're about money management. Uh, Attitude is everything. Who stole my cheese? Raving fans. You know, the magic of thinking big. If they, they're not going to hang gutters for the rest of their lives. But if they can leave and go work somewhere else, and um, for the fact that they worked at the Brothers That Just Do Gutters, you know, Chattahoochee Valley, that that be an automatic hire. We've hired guys from there before. They're great. They're trustworthy, they're honorable, um, they're completely teachable, they're humble. Like we would love for, uh, for just to be known for cranking out really awesome employees uh, through working with us, you know? Well, that's really, really commendable. I, I praise you for that because, uh, you know, life is short and a lot of times I think young people may change jobs four, five, six times in their life yeah. uh, and trying to find their way and figure out what they like to do, but uh, keep up the good work and, the, and develop these young people for the future. What about yeah, the, the target service radius? How far mileage or time-wise you go out from the Chattahoochee Valley in the Columbus Fort Benning area? Yeah, it's about a 50 mile radius, Paul. We go out towards, um, we go, you know, east, or excuse me, west towards Tuskegee, east towards Manchester, Woodbury. We go up to um, Hugginsville, LaGrange, Auburn, Opelika, and then, you know, back down around towards uh, Fort Mitchell. So, um, and yeah, so pretty much around that area. I got you. I got yeah. you. So what about, uh, has your company just grown uh, exponentially and uh, slow but steady in this last 18 months? Uh, we've grown a lot in the last 18 months. We started from one one truck. I mean, I had three employees. Now we have almost, uh, now we have 11. Um, wow. And we're still, yeah, and we're still growing. So we went from, uh, we, you know, went from one installation truck and one um, truck to do estimates. Um one sales truck. Now we have two sales trucks and three installation vehicles. And we also have a production manager and he has a pickup truck as well. So uh, yeah, just really grown a lot. Praise God. And um, just trying to do quality work, you know, that sounds like it may even be beyond uh, what you anticipated. Yeah, it's for sure. Definitely faster uh, than what I thought, but um, I, uh, I love hiring the right people. It's actually, it's actually really fun. It's because um, every person I have in the roles that they're working, they're working in those roles because they're better at it than I am. I mean, I can't do everything, you know? So if I have to replace myself in other areas, well, let me replace myself with someone who's better than me to make the business just be all that much, you know, uh, successful. That's so, great. That's great. Yeah. Uh, tell people how we met and, uh, and also how um, you got into this business. So I went, so Paul and I met at business, at, B, at, uh, at a BNI meeting, Business Networking International. If you guys don't know what that is, um, you should check into that. And um, I would love to talk to anyone about that to just to give you my impression of it and my just overwhelming gratitude and support to that organization. But uh, the founders of the brothers that just do gutters, the original flagship location is in Hudson Valley, New York, about an hour and a half north of New York City. Um, they, when I went up there to, uh, for training, when I bought the business, they were huge on BNI. They were so, um, they were so active and involved up there um, in their local BNI chapters. And so I knew that it was something based on what I saw when I went up there to visit them. Uh, that I needed to be a part of down here. I went to the Paysetters chapter and Paul was one of the first guys I met 
And um, just right off the bat from the beginning, it just really felt like um, I was telling someone the other day, <laughs> Paul, Tommy, Paul Tommy is the guy that you feel like you've met somewhere before when you meet him. You're like, wait, I, I've met him somewhere. Well, even if you might not have met him somewhere, but that's how he makes you feel. It makes you feel like that. So, which I'm sure is a testament to you and your success in real estate, Paul. People feel more comfortable working with someone that makes them feel like family. Um, not in a weird way or an awkward way or a way that's like hard to deal with, but in a way that feels natural when it comes to decisions like buying a house or how to put gutters, you know, um, on their house. So that's just, yeah, really cool to how that works, you know. But uh, how did you choose the brothers? Did you, how did you choose this franchise per se? And why were you uh, uh, enamored by their success story? Did you go um, up to the headquarters? I did. Yeah, I went up to visit uh, to visit before we made the decision and really liked how they operated, really liked uh, that the respect of the installers had for the process and for the management up there. And, um, you know, it just really felt like there was a need in town in Columbus here in Phoenix City and the surrounding area for um, for a company that really paid attention to detail and really sought to give the customer exactly what they deserve, which is 100 percent constantly they're paying for a service with their hard-earned money you know that's something i say a lot if talking to a customer like hey you deserve to be 100 percent satisfied with the service that you paid for and uh, my parents were looking to get gutters you know at the time and we i was over there when they had people come over to do estimates and either they didn't show up they didn't answer they never called back um, or the ones that did show up just weren't very professional and or they were astronomically priced. There didn't seem to be much of a middle ground. They either super expensive or obviously uh, subpar in quality just because of the price. So, you know, did some research and found this opportunity and, and have just been very grateful ever since. Wow, thanks for that, that feedback. Hey, Luke, um, tell the folks about some of the successful projects you've helped me with and some other uh, realtors in town that you've been able to help us with in the last 18 months? Yeah, sometimes, you know, sometimes people, uh, especially real estate companies, if they're trying to do a sale or trying to close something, and uh, there might be one section that needs to be replaced, or even a homeowner that has a back porch that's just getting pelted by the rain coming off the roof, and they literally need like a 10-foot section. Some companies show up and they want to they think it's like beneath them, not worth their time to give someone a quote on like a 10 foot section. And you can tell when you get to those houses because the homeowners are almost embarrassed to even say like, hey, we just want to do this small section. Okay, great, that's awesome. Well, you're not gonna, you're not gonna try to convince me to do the whole house? Well, no, not if you need it. I mean, I'll make suggestions based on, based on what I know and what I see, but I don't live here, you do. So if you have a problem, you know, let, let me let me really try to try to facilitate that problem before I just make assumptions and make suggestions and try to, you know, jack up the price by doing a lot more of what, of, you know, what you might not even need. So it's been good to be able to provide small, like little sections like that. Um, or also being able to, you know, dress up a house a little bit more with maybe black gutters or black smooth around downspouts or copper or galvalume. Like we said, it's been really fun to be able to offer something different than just a normal, uh, K style gutter with a three by four down style, which is nothing wrong with that. It's completely functional. So there's just a lot of times in town, people need gutters quick and they throw something up. That's like maybe a five inch gutter when six inch gutters handle 44% more water than five inch do. And it's just really what's ne what's necessary in our region. We just get a lot of rain. Yeah. I'd like to say that um, I've got an Airbnb in town. I put a black roof on the property. And when I got over there, I knew I wanted black gutters. But but Luke recommended I went with round downspouts, and I've had so many compliments from neighbors and friends and passersby that it's been uh, it's it's great curb appeal. It just makes it pop a little bit. Yeah, for um, sure. That's awesome. Anything else you'd like to say about some of the projects you've done? Um, not that I can think of um, off the top of my head. We've just really enjoyed. There's a uh, part of part of the vehicle wraps that we do. Um, there's a, there's a spot on our trucks that says reinventing contractor service. And um, that's just been really important to us. You know, like I said, we've gotten jobs before just because we've showed up on time when we said we were going to, you know, and that's just that quality and that attention to detail. Paul, I know 
I've talked to people about you before and it come, you know, we you known as the full service realtor, how you're out there cutting grass if you need to, or facilitating needs and issues for all sorts of things. And it's just really cool to partner with you when it comes to stuff, knowing that you're going to put forth the same amount of time and attention and focus towards your clients um, as we try to. So uh, it's just been really awesome to know that going into it, you know? Yeah, when you're hands on and you're out there on the front line to make sure that the guys are doing what they need to do. Uh, but when you have vendors that you know, use and trust, I can put you guys on point and I know it'd be done right the first time professionally. What about the best way for people to uh, get a hold of you and your company? Yeah, we are. I mean, we're online at, uh, at thebrothersgutters.com. And, you know, regionally, we'll show up in this region. We're the uh, Chattahoochee Valley. And uh, also we're on Facebook, Brothers Gutters Chat Valley. And our number is 706-489-4340. And um, you can reach us there. Well, I like to say a little testimonial in summary. Uh, Luke, I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to, yes, sir. to do this yes, sir. interview. Appreciate it very much. But uh, <clears throat> I think folks need to listen and give uh, them an opportunity to earn their business. So you won't be disappointed. Uh, whether it's a spe special job, a routine cleaning, or multiple property project, it doesn't matter. Um, they can uh, get the job done right the first time. They're hardworking, enthusiastic, honest, and ethical professionals. I, I say that they're gutterly awesome. I didn't come up with that. Luke did, but gutterly awesome. <laughs> That's great. Uh, and Luke, thanks for joining us today and sharing your inspiring startup story. I'm real excited to be affiliated with you and your company. I'm going to use and recommend you often or regular in the future. And um, thank you so much for joining us today. Yes. No, thank you so much for having me, Paul. Appreciate it so much. Thank you. And, and to the viewers out there, next week we're going to use um, Lance Cope. He's a friend of mine. He's probably done 150 home inspections for me. Uh, Lance Cope with l, l Home Inspections, and he's a former BNI member, um, retired veteran, been doing it about, I think, about 14 years now. So, Luke, you and your family and friends and everybody out there, as I say to all my family and friends every day of my life, y'all have the best day ever. Thank right. you. Thanks. Take care. Bye-bye.